Hey guys, this is Jamie and Lola Tallulah Poet Spice, and I'm here to do a haul, a combination. I got some stuff that came in, and I decided I would just go ahead and put it all in one video. So, this came today, and this is because of Shantae. So, if you see her, she's in my collab. You can check her channel out. It's simply Shantae. She did her, um video Monday and I immediately was it Monday and it was one of these days and so I immediately had to go find this dye it's this Biggs Plus which I don't think I've even heard of Biggs Plus like this anyway um I heard of the Thinlets Plus or whatever so she had this passport holder dye and she showed her project and I was like, mm-hmm. Before she even finished the video, I was like, let me put this on pause and try to go hunt it down. Well, it was retired, so I had to go hunt it down on eBay. And I was glad because I found it and the price was right. And I was like, okay, woo-woo. So it just came today. And it is a very large die, so you definitely have to have your big shot plus it says it's compatible with the big shot plus and a big shot pro so i have the plus and i was like yeah so a lot of times people ask me about what die cut machines to get because i have like eight different ones <laughs> i know it's obsessive but i would say for any crafter who plans on doing any die cutting whatsoever i would say to have two different machines i would have the big shot plus because that will cut like 90% of all steel world dies plus your thin dies. And I would have like, to be honest, I would now, instead of using my Gemini, Gemini, I like my Anna Griffin Empress with um, grand caliber plates. Love it. So anyway, that came today. So I can't wait to play with it. So thank you, Shante, for enabling me. All right, so let's talk about tonic. Y'all know I love me some tonic. Right, right. So they had their designer choice. And so they're now putting it in this, this design of a package, which is pretty cute. I like that. It's a little sturdier. So when you get it. And of course, this time, they had a coffee cup die. And what they did, diff they put this new package in here. And they also put directions, which I think this may be the first time they've actually put directions in with their designer's choice. So I don't drink coffee, but I know several of my crafty friends who do, but I do drink tea and so forth. So, you know, you don't have to have a coffee cup just for coffee. So I definitely had to get that. So I was like, yes. Then they came out with the tonic designer choice um, dye storage. And I don't know why they went with this teal color, because their colors are orange and black. But, of course, I loved it, because it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> and I was like, well, let me try it, because I don't know what size this is going to come out to be. Well, it's an A5, but, you know, I always have trouble with the size. I have to actually see it in person. So, I just thought it was going to be the just the folder. But, no, look. It comes with six of these, I think. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, it comes with six of the pop, uh, pockets and then six of the magnets. I didn't even read that. I was just like, oh, let me try this. And it has the two prongs so that your designer choice will fit in here. So I thought that was fabulous. And I might go back and get another one because their binders sell out quickly. And I have to say that their binders are really good. They're sturdy and so forth. And yeah, I love their binders. So I was pleased with this one. So these two, of course, go together. And now I can put my, my other designer choices in there instead of in the craft kits. Okay, then we've got a Halloween slash fall thing going on here. Halloween, this was the Crafter's Companion decorations to their gable box. So... This was the auto ship I was waiting for. So I will open this up. I just did my nails, so try not to like mess them up. Because I only have one coat of polish on. <laughs> that way it would dry. Like you care, right? You know, you don't care. It's 
not, not that important, right? Right. It's just what it is at the moment. Woo, child. Anyway, so I thought this was cute. I don't do a whole lot of Halloween, but every now and then they come up with some stuff that really gets me. And I'm like, yes. So I thought this was really cute. And so you have this stamp set. I love the pumpkins and the little bat. And this little cat is killing me. And I like this tree. I always have a thing for trees. I don't know. And then they give you some bricks that you can stamp on your building. And this becomes your little, um, your shingles. And so, of course, you could do it in any color, but that was so cute. And then you get the dies to cut them out. And what I'm liking is that they give you a die for everything. And you even have... This die is going to cut out the Happy Halloween. That's going to cut out either the treats or... That's probably the treat one. And this is the other set of words. And then they give you the boo, which is pretty cute. And then I believe that's the or. So this little one down here. So they give you a die for everything. And they actually threw in this extra one right there. And this is going to cut out your shingles. But you could also use that as a little teeny tiny tack. So I just thought that was really cute. And yeah. There you go. Oh. Whew, sense of deja vu. Oh, I don't like that. Anyway. So then... Okay, Hero Arts. Sometimes their kits to me are like so on point, it's like I must have it. And sometimes they're like, mmm, that's a big old miss. This time it was a big, ooh, it's on point. So here's one set of things that you got in the kit. The monthly kit for Hero Arts. You got little bits of paper so you got some glitter so far it doesn't come off but we shall see so you've got what six sheets of glitter I love this brown glitter that's gorgeous so you got that then you got five inks so that is awesome and my cup of joe um Hmm. I don't know if these are hybrid or just regular, but it's an assortment of fall colors. And then y'all look at this. This was so incredibly cool. You know how they have their layering stamps, right? Their layering scenes. This pumpkin thing was off the chain to me. I was like, yes. So you've got a pumpkin patch with some corn in the background. And then of course, you know, you got your little extra pumpkins and little scarecrow some birds we got some little sentiments down here and then the other layer for the the corn and then you've got some sentiments in the back and then you got the basic dies to cut that out so this will cut out the edge of the corn and this and then you have your bird the wheel what is this hay bale yeah, a little hay bale over here. So the designs I saw for this were so incredibly fabulous. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So loved it, had to get it. Then of course they always have a bunch of add-on stuff. And this time I did get some add-ons. They had this layering scene, <clears throat> which is called what? What is this called? Moonlit Night. That's what it's called. I was trying to find it. It's called Moonlit Night. And so you can see how it layers up to create this. So, of course, you could do the whole spooky thing, but you could do like an evening sky with it. You could, this could actually be sun instead of moon. So it could be done in several ways. And I really liked that. And I thought this was cool. You're wicked cool. <laughs> you liven up the night. Mm-hmm. So I thought this was really cool. I do wish they had dyes for the wolf and the witch, though. You know, I, a die. Always need a die. Okay. And then they had this scene. This is another one of their layering scenes, and I was just like, ha, ha, that is so funny. It is their graveyard hero scape. And so you can see how this layers up. You got your three little pieces, and then you can put your little houses and stuff on there. 
the skeleton kills me. Look at that. <laughs> so you've got your like little haunted house and your pavement there. There's like little church and your little headstone, different trees that you can put on there, gates and stuff. So I thought this was just cool, and I love these little brick pieces. I didn't even notice that when I got it. So you got the gate and everything, and then you can layer this up. And look at the zombies. It's got a zombie. I just thought that was just absolutely fabulous because, you know, I do like my gothic thing. And, of course, if I got the die or the stamp set, you know I got the die because, yeah, had to do that. So this... This here will cut out this section once you put it up and layer it up. And then, of course, you have all the little die pieces for everything else, which is one thing I really like about companies when they have die sets and stamps is that there's a die for every single stamp. I love Diamond Press. I just wish they would do that so that every stamp they had had a die. Oh, that would be perfect they would be awesome then totally perfect well they're awesome anyway but anyway i'm rambling now but i just had to get this really part of this release i didn't get all of it because i'm like yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna get all of it but i loved loved it so i had to get it and i was glad when it came i just hope i get to play with it because it's like really been hectic at work all right see you guys later thanks for watching and i hope you have a good evening or day whenever you're watching this and you know Stay healthy, stay safe, put out those positive vibes and those positive prayers, and, you know, see you later.